you're rolling on it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. HPN uh, day nightly interview with the uh, whole pickpocket thing. What are we going to meet with? Where was that thing we're meeting at now? The Bull, Bull's Head Tavern. No, behind us. Behind us. Look. Got it. Got it. Get, get him in front. Get him in front. Okay. Yep. Okay. Rolling. Rolling. Oh, good day, boys. Hey, sorry I'm a little bit late. Yeah, I had to make a bit of a pit stop. Well, that's not good enough, sister. Jimmy says I'm gonna have to take some collateral. Oh, really? Well, Jimmy can take this! <laughs> Jimmy says you forgot your change. <laughs> no, no, we're fine. I'm just glad you showed up. Hmm. We were beginning to wonder what we're gonna do today. Come here. What did you just say? What did you just said my name? No. It sounded like you just said my name. No. Why would I do that? No, besides, it's okay. We can just edit it out or, or cover it up. What, like with a beep or something? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Might look like I'm letting you swear at me all day. They're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> Bollocks to that. No, wait, I got it. You can call me the Panther. No, no, wait, 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 wait. You can call me the Viper. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Um, that's, that's fine. So, so um, we're, we're, we're good? Well, yeah, mate. What? Oh, oh, right, that little, ah, uh, did I make you a little bit nervous then? Yeah, just a little. Uh, but yeah. we're, we're okay now. Oh, we're like cream and cherries, mate. Cream and cherries? We are sweet. Okay, right, right. So, um, we're good to start. I already have. Okay, okay on me in two. One. Thanks, Tom. Well, given a choice between tear gas and a smoke grenade, I know which one I'd prefer. But what about outside the playground? It seems we're not safe anywhere. And here on HBN, we can prove it. Tonight on Walk on the Wrong Side, we're taking a stroll with a pickpocket. Hi there, and thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me. So tell me, how long have you been stealing? Oh, that's a tale as old as time, that one. But well, let's just say I've been picking pockets for about eight years now. Wow, sounds like a successful career. What did you do before then? Oh, I was busting into people's homes, but I couldn't handle all the pussy. <laughs> But the damn allergies were killing me, yeah? Well, that sounds rough. So what about before that? Oh, no, nothing really, you know. Uh, I was a bit all over the place. It was my mum who really taught me how to focus my I'm energy. I'm sorry, your mother? Oh, yeah. She recognized my kleptomania at an early age and knew that it was something that had to be nurtured or it might get lost. Uh, you know how parents can be. <laughs> they all want a little Mozart or something running about. Yeah, I suppose so. But most of our viewers are probably wondering, how could a mother possibly encourage her own child to steal? Oh, pretty easily, I imagine. It was something I was interested in. Oh, there were the days where I didn't want to do much and then I'd be threatened with a bit of the old no dessert for you or you can't sleep in on Mondays or no bitches past 11. <laughs> Normal kid stuff, I suppose. That's an interesting approach. I've heard of the opposite situation where parents have actually called the police on their child, but oh, never... Oh, yeah, 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 mate, uh, don't, don't worry about that. <sighs> sure, maybe as a kid, you know, uh, she would say, hey, go get me that necklace or I bet you can't make it out of here with that VCR but she knew that one day I could be tried as an adult and there'd be nothing she could do for me. So, before I turned 17, she would just, you know, every now and again, give me something to swipe and call the coppers. So what about the people in your life? You have a wife or a girlfriend who worries about you? Well, I was in love once, but she stole my art, so I had her killed. Just kidding, bit of a thieves joke for you. <sighs> But really, you know, I don't have a problem with it. All my mates are in the union, and we all know that chicks love the bad boy thing, so I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. So just a second, the union? Well, yeah. In the olden days, it used to be called a guild, right? But times are changing. So uh, we just call ourselves the government now. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Another thieves joke for you. But seriously, the rates are good, and it pays for lawyers and things. So um, get some lunch. D did you just take a wallet? <laughs> I am a pickpocket. Yeah, but you barely touched it. That was pretty good. You think so? Thanks. Um, I'm just warming up. Man, if that's you warm, you must be something else when you're hot. Well, I wasn't going to bring this up, but uh, I did win an award last year. Really? Yeah, yeah. The LTF's Thieve of the Year Award. Oh, it's not really a trophy or, or anything special like that. It's, a, it's more of a plaque. Well, it's a, it's a key ring, actually. <laughs> but it's cool. It's, it's got a little graving on there and everything. It's nice. Can we have a look? No, I, um, I lost it. Or somebody stole it. What do you mean, like uh, another pickpocket? I don't think so, mate. What's it gonna do him any good, eh? It's got my name on it. Couple of coffees, boys? All right, let's cut there. Roll it, roll it. Yeah, you yeah, roll it? Did you get any of that? No, no, shh. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Right, I think 
better make a move on boys. Come on, let's go. But what about the people that you victimize? I mean, do you think nothing of the stress and torment you put them through? Hey, wait a minute, man. I I'm not an evil man, if that's what you're trying to say. No. Hey, because I, I don't feel like one. You know, there's plenty of times where I can see that it's just a piece of sentimental crap, and I'll just leave it alone. Other times, it might occur to me that it's just not worth it, and I'll return it. Really? Yeah. Like what? Well, um, oh, yeah. Like this, for instance. Not even my color. There you go. And you know, I think I've made just about enough in today's loot that I don't even need to open up your little surfy wallet here with a Velcro on it. Hey, chill out, mate. It's all right. We're good. We're good. I grabbed that earlier when we were a bit pissed at each other. We're cool. Right. Well, that's about it for this evening's Walking on the Wrong Side of the Tracks. Coming up next week on the Home Protection Network, I'll be giving my feet a rest and riding shotgun with a couple of carjackers. Get out of the class! <laughs> Come on! Get in the face! Hurry! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I think you better do what he says. Of course it's working, mate. Look, the little red light is on. So come on, how much are you going to give me for it? No, not much, mate, not much. Oh, what? Come on, I'll even throw in the tape. It's only got seven minutes of footage on it. Seven minutes, you say? 